Greetings, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the time period of February 1st to the 28th, 2019. These are legacy tarot cards if you're new to my channel. All right. So I hope you guys have been doing okay. I'm trying to put these readings out early because I get very busy during the week. So that's why I usually uh, do them very early now. Okay. And thank you for subscribing. Please do share if you like my channel. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. Virgo. It's a leaving an Aquarian or Aquarian is leaving you. But when you, you there's an element here where you got back with that element. But yeah, because the Capricorn told you. So you got back with an Aquarian energy because you are saying that a Capricorn energy told you to go back with an Aquarian energy for whatever reason you're going to an Aquarian for. But that they're not good with something. So an Aquarian, either it's Capricorn or it's Aquarian. The Aquarian energy is not good with something. And there's a making a mistake going with. <laughs> you made a mistake being with an Aquarian, going to an Aquarian, doing something with an Aquarian, whatever you're doing with an Aquarian is a mistake, or maybe something has gone on, but you took, the, you took, when you took a Capricorn Energy's advice in terms of going with an Aquarian, but maybe that element, that, maybe that is a mistake, something was supposed to happen, so the fact that a Capricorn told you to go to an Aquarian, maybe, it's, oh, I see what's going on, Maybe a, Cap a Capricorn energy told you to go to an Aquarian, but they something is a life lesson. So whether something is working out with the Aquarian or not, the Capricorn told you to either go with them or not go with them. But whatever choice you whatever choice you made is supposed to happen. So maybe there's a situation where maybe you could not get away from some type of interaction with an Aquarian. So it just depends on the energy of the situation of why you were with that element to begin with. But I'm leaving. So you're leaving, you're, you're leaving wherever you're leaving, but it's going to Capricorn. So you're leaving an Aquarian to go to a Capricorn or you're just leaving the Aquarian period, but it has something to do with the Capricorn. So either you had, either you had a run in with the Aquarian period and, but the, the run in with them or the situations with them, they're supposed to happen. So the Capricorn told you that, you know, me, something was destiny about that, but something could not be avoided. So the fact that you were with someone period, or you're going to someone else that's supposed, whatever it is supposed to happen. But something has to do with accuracy. Something has to do with accuracy and insurance and insurance card and your insurance card. You're doing something with an Aquarian with your insurance card. I get a mistake and something is a mistake with you doing something with your insurance with an Aquarian energy. I mean, you should go to a Capricorn energy may, may be able to fix that or give you insight on I get on the mistake you made with the Aquarian uh, with the insurance card. Or if it's not an insurance or if it's not an insurance card, you just made a mistake with an Aquarian period and you want the Capricorn energy's help. All right. All right, let's see. All right, Virgo, four of wands energy going on. Something is happening inside of your home. Some, something being revealed too much inside of your home. Maybe that's why you're dis maybe that's why you disappear from your house all the time. But a Sagittarius energy knows where you are. I get Aries and Aries, uh, Aries and a Sag energy. They know where you are all the time. But there's smoking, so maybe this is either it's happening in your home or it's happening in your workplace. Maybe that's why you deal with. Maybe that's why you were dealing with the Aquarian. There's an element of dealing with the Aquarian because something, some type of, some type of annoyance of parents, some type of annoyance with parents fire sign energies inside your home that you wanted to get away from, but it has something to do with smoking. Maybe they were telling you to stop smoking in there. So you were, they were telling you to stop smoking in, in some house, in some job. They were just telling you to stop. Something is bad for your lungs. So maybe you're smoking and these elements are telling you to not smoke anymore. Something is bad for your lungs. So it just depends. Um, that keep getting, that's why you were going to an Aquarian. So there's a situation here. Maybe you were, maybe you were with the Aquarian smoking and those elements are telling you not to smoke. And you weren't, you're not listening to a parent or you're not listening. I get to a friend that has a very good advice that you weren't listening to a friend or friend that has a very good advice. An Aquarian is also good for you. So for whoever it resonates with it, an Aquarian is also good for you, but then maybe something is not accurate enough for you with them, or they're not, they don't do something good enough for you, but they're actually good for you. Then there's an element for some of you where an Aquarian energy is good for you. 
but they they are there's there's two types of Aquarians going on here. They're good or they're bad. But there's so many Virgos and so many Aquarians in in the land of the world that only you could split them in half. And some are bad and some are good. So it just depends on the reason into why you're res, you you're residing with that element. But something's going on with needing to leave one that's toxic for you. That's what the Capricorn energy is saying. Or you are with one that is just they're not they're just not good with something. So it just depends with some type of accuracy or sex or whatever it is that they're yeah, you're doing with the Aquarian. But fire sign energy told you to like, leave the Aquarian. They told you to leave the toxic Aquarian. <laughs> if there's two types of Aquarians going on here, they told you to leave that element alone. You're starting because maybe they, they're responsible for the reason into why you're smoking, period, or some type of habit, bad habit that you have. Or what I get swinging. Maybe you swing with that element. And that's what the fire sign elements are clowning about, or that's what Capricorn element is revealing. That's what Sagittarius and Aries, that's what they're goofballing about. The fact that you, you swing with Aquarian energies, mm, but you can't do that anymore. So you can't do some type of swinging with the Aquarian energies anymore, whatever. The King of Swords energy for your starting point, but, but you're embodying this element. You are embodying King of Swords energy going on here. But the, am I bisexual? So you're asking yourself, am I bisexual? When you want to figure out this element is bisexual, they are. So Gemini, a Gemini dude is bisexual. It's plain as day. Like they, they are, the Aquarian is also, Aqu you think an Aquarian dude is lying about being bisexual or they're gay or they're not gay, they're gay, whatever the situation is. But an Aquarian also has Leo on their chart. That's why I was getting that Leo-like fire, that Leo-like element there with the King of Swords energy. A Leo has Aquarian energy in their chart. Mm, but it thinks that they're straight. So a Leo, a Leo that's shown up like this thinks that they're straight. Then in a situation here where an Aquarian, Aquarian, an Aquarian energy is bi, or you think that they're lying about being bi, gay, whatever the situation is here with the King of Swords, or you're embodying this element and you're like, am I, am I gay? Am I bi? Am I lesbian? Am I what? LGBTQ, whatever it is, the umbrella terminology when you want to use with the King of Swords energy. Mm, does something wrong with thinks that you're foolish? Like this element may think that you're foolish, or they're conversing with you about how they think someone is foolish with looking at swords and energy. They're not. So whoever the external person is that this en energy is conversing with you about. But yeah, Gemini. So you're talking to a King of Swords energy. If they're not, if this is not a Gemini, you're talking to, and they're talking to it about, you're talking to an Aquarius about a Gemini energy, about the fact that a Gemini, an external, and a Gemini energy is something that's foolish with a Gemini energy. They don't know what they're doing. So you're gem, you're saying you're conversing with an Aquarian energy or a Leo, whatever. You're conver I was saying that the Leo has Aquarian in a chart, whatever situation is here, but I feel more so that either you're embodying this energy or you are discussing with an Aquarian something that a Gemini energy is doing, something foolish about what a Gemini, they, they think that they know some type of information or they think that they're doing something right. Something's going on with accuracy with a Gemini. So maybe they're not good with some type of accuracy with something that you're, that you're trying to do with them. That's what an Aquarian energy is talking about with the King of Swords. Mm, I can't take it. So you you can't take that situation. I just you can't take the Gemini. Something going on with the Gemini. Or you take you can't take the Aquarian energy with the King of Swords feeling. The I got the King of Swords feeling. You're feeling like this. You're feeling. I get like a man. So if you're a woman, you feel like a dude. <laughs> or if you're, you're you if you're a woman, you feel like a dude. Or something's going on with your bi being bisexual or whatever it is. You're something's going on with being. There's a not wanting to be heterosexual. You want to be bisexual? You want to be with both men and women? Are you contemplating that? Mm. But Aquarian is telling you. So maybe that's why the four of wands, that's maybe that's why your parents or friends or co-workers are arguing with you because you they think the, the, to whoever the toxic Aquarian energy is, you, their parents or your friends or your co-workers are telling you to leave them alone because they think that the Aquarian energy is trying to turn you out. So it just depends on what's going on with the King of Swords energy. Mm, you're like, I'm not going to turn out. Yeah, I'm not going to turn. I'm not into men. I'm not into women. But something is a damn lie when I said that. So something is a damn lie. That's what a Gemini is saying, that that's a damn lie. <laughs> the Gemini is like, that's a damn lie. Stop lying to yourself, whatever situation is, or are you dealing with an Aquarian that's toxic, whatever the situation is there. Death card, energy, sign of Scorpio. You're like, I want to leave this house that you occupy with this person. They're Aquarian. You you want to leave our Gemini, whatever it is. Like you, you want to leave this house that you occupy with this energy if it's not you. You want to leave this house, death card energy. Mm. Like, I'm not going to stop smoking. So you're like, I'm not going to stop smoking. Or these elements are telling you to stop smoking. You're not listening to these King of Swords energies. Like if it's not you, you're not listening to these King of Swords energies. Hmm. They're not good with something all the time. So they're not good with something all the time. 
but you're not listening to them because they're trying to get you to stop smoking. Hmm. I keep getting heterosexual. So there's something wrong with smoking and, 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 and being uh, LGBTQ and, and being heterosexual. You are heterosexual. Something's going on with being or not, you, or you don't want to be sexual, you don't want to be heterosexual anymore, or, so, or, you, or you don't want, or you want to be bi, lesbian, or bi, bi, or whatever, or lesbian, you want to be that, or you don't want to be that anymore. Mm, that's what Aquarius energy is laughing about. Mm, wow, death card energy here. Or if, if it's not that kind of energy, maybe something's going on, that is death card energy, the fact that you don't want to, there's something going on with your identity, your sexual identity, and you want to switch off. You want to try something new. You want to switch off into something else now because it's this, because of this King of Swords energy here or the fact that you're embodying that element. Mm. Something is mystical either about this energy or something is going on with you, like with your identity mystically because of this person or because of the fact that you're embodying King of Swords energy. Mm. So what happened to me? So the death card, you're like, what happened to me? You're trying to figure out what happened to you. Something is mystical that's around you. But I get Gemini, so there's a Gemini energy that's mystical around you, or the Gemini energy did something mystically around you, mm, but you don't know that, Death card, but you don't know that. So, oh, I see with the heterosexual and the gay and the smoking, something's going on, something's going on, maybe the Gemini, the fire signs, maybe something's going on with, something's going on with somebody wants you to stop smoking. So maybe they did an incantation around you. There's that element also. You're using intuition that Gemini energy did it. That's what a Scorpio told you. A Scorpio told you that a Gemini energy did a, a, a did an incantation around you to stop you from smoking, or to turn somebody did something mystically around you. That's what a Scorpio energy is saying. Either has to do either has to do with smoking, or has something to do with you being lesbian or or gay and bi. But it has something to do with some type of mystical, you're, you're tapping in your third eye, somebody tapping into your third eye and causing you to make some type of spiritual change with the King of Swords and the Death Card energy. So now, now you're going from straight to bi lesbian or, or you're going, or, or it's the opposite. Or you're, it, but it has something to do with, and, and it's something that the Scorpio, it has something to do with something that a Scorpio told you or some uh, about the awareness that this King of Swords energy did around you that caused you to make that kind of change. Mm, you're like, I didn't know that that was happening. Wow. That was somebody's way of protecting you, though, and, and making you, wow, we really, you know, people really, people really do have control over themselves, but I do feel like there's a situation in life where people, like, incantations of things can really alter somebody's subconscious mind and make them change their ways and change their identities. Maybe that's what you're talking about, or that's what a Scorpio is teaching you about. The death card energy is the fact that you're something that has something to do with you having control over your like subconscious mind or your midbrain or something's going on with brain activity and making spiritual choices that you didn't know you were making. Mm, wow, there's a learning a lot from a Scorpio. You're learning Capricorn. The Capricorn is showing up like a Scorpio. Hmm. Wow. I get honored when I said Scorpio Capricorn showing up like a Scorpio. This energy is honored, or do you feel they should be honored, or they should work somewhere? The Gemini energy needs to leave. So you feel like a Gemini energy needs to leave, but but they're the ones that are responsible for doing the incantation. You're like, I want to make my own choices. Like maybe something's going on with you being aware, but it has something to do with some of the Capricorn or the, the Capricorn or Scorpio on their chart or it's a Scorpio energy that told you that the Gemini energy did that to you or an Aquarian, somebody did that to you, that they did that to you mystically. You want that you, they did that to protect you, yes, or they did it to, to get you out the way or whatever the situation is here. But there's an element here where, you respect somebody for that. There's that element. But you also want death card. You also want to make your own choices. You don't want someone to make and can do and can teach around you without you asking them. Mm. The Gemini thinks that they're powerful or they have power above multiple people. So maybe something is annoying about that to you. Or that's what the, the Scorpio-like elements, the Capricorn with Scorpio in a chart is clowning about. And maybe that's what's coming out with the death card and the King of Swords energy here. Mm, you know, I didn't even know that I was making these choices. I didn't know I was leaving this job. I didn't know I was leaving this man, this woman. I didn't know I just stopped smoking out of nowhere with a death card energy, with a can of swords. You're like, I want to make my own choices. You don't want the Gemini. You don't want Gemini energy around somewhere anymore. You prefer a Capricorn or a Scorpio-like element to be somewhere. Mm, I think she's black. When I said Scorpio and Capricorn energy, they're black. But something's going on with you. Some they're helpful, but the, the fact that they're black, it's it's something driving somebody crazy about the fact that somebody's black. 
they, or or maybe that's why they don't work somewhere because they're uh, too somebody's too dark with the death card and this and and uh or the fact this is Capricorn or is it's a um it's a Scorpio somebody's too dark or some, whatever the situation is here doesn't know she's not she's not that dark <laughs> whatever it is she's not that dark with well, this what these elements are talking to you about that's why the Capricorn or a Scorpio is not somewhere. Mm, this is not wanting to hire black people or not wanting to hire somebody that's black or work with somebody that's black or be near someone that's black, <laughs> whatever. That's what the King of Swords energy is talking to you about. But when I say King of Swords energy is talking to you about, oh, they need to leave. You need to leave a King of Swords energy. That's why the death card is here. Mm. Your present has, because th that's why I said they're toxic. They're telling you not to be around somebody that's black or you feel that maybe the Gemini is, maybe the Gemini energy is either they're black or the Gemini are light skin or they are, um, they're being accepted to be somewhere, but they're, they're trying to have some type of mystical control over some type of situation and you're annoyed by that. And that's why you want to work with the Scorpio, the Capricorn, but you're with a boss, you're a Libra, you're aware that your boss as a Libra does not, something's going on with them psychologically with somebody's skin tone. And you're like, well, get therapy and then hire the person. If you need psychological or mental health clarity to hire someone that's of a different color than you or be around someone that's of a different color than you or ethnicity. Mm, then what's wrong with these people? <laughs> that's what the Capricorn is saying. That's what you're saying. What the hell is wrong with you or this or this energy or as a Libra, whatever. That element showing up like a Libra also. King of Wands energy. I mean, Queen of Wands energy. For I mean, they are showing up like a king, but masculine. Like I said, I made a mistake, but I don't consider like mistakes in readings to be like I don't mis consider it to be a mistake with the Queen of Wands. I said king, but they're maybe they're showing up masculine. Maybe they're bi. This element could be bi, but there's a thinks that they're not. <laughs> somebody thinks somebody that is rolling like they're straight is not, or they there's a delusional kind of stuff going on with the Queen of Queen of Wands energy. Mm. But they're pressing around like they're white or pressing around like they're whatever the situation, black, whatever it is. Somebody's trying to pre or prideful. This energy is very prideful. They're also trying to act like they're not bi or they're not straight or they're whatever it is, queen of wands. This energy wants to be in a life. You're, they usually call people who are LGBTQ, they, they call, they, the terminology for it is, is to be in a life. They're, they want to be in a life, but they're trying to act like they're in the life. That it needs to get out. This energy needs to get out of the fact that the fact that they're trying to be in the life, and that's what you're talking about with the, about this Queen of Wands energy. The she's in Aries. This element is in Aries. That's annoying. I get that needs a life. This element needs a life. <laughs> this element needs a life. Whatever the situation is here, you're saying that the Death card energy. You're like their sibling is better than them. You're saying that this energy's sibling is better than them. So either the Queen of Wands energy, if, this, if they're in Aries, you're saying that Aries female, their sibling, whether it's a Scorpio or Capricorn energy, is better. Somebody's better than them. But the fact that they couldn't take the fact that this element was pointed out all the time, that's why the, that's why this energy left, or that's why they were asked to leave. Because that's something to do with what, the, what this energy, the, what the Scorpio-like element or the Capricorn, that's what the, those elements were saying about this person. That's why that's why this element left or that's why this element left, Queen of Wands. And she's still around. This element is still around. But this element left because of this, uh, because of some of this energy, because of something that they said about this energy, the Queen of Wands. Mm, I don't want her back here. The, you don't want a, a, a Scorpio Capricorn back somewhere, or you don't want a Queen of Wands energy back somewhere. So it just depends on what's going on. But it has something to do with sexuality. It has something to do with you revealing this energy sexuality, or the Scorpio the Capricorn energy revealing your sexuality, or this element's sexuality. But doesn't doesn't care that you either you don't care that Capricorn or Scorpio reveal this element sexuality, or you don't care this, that this element is revealing your sexuality, vice versa. Whatever the situation is here. But you're in a workplace. So maybe this is happening in a workplace with this element. Mm, this is happening inside of a workplace or a home environment or a school. Two of coins energy for your future. Two of two of coins. You know, I need I need more money to leave. You need more money to leave. There's an asking parent. This element could also be shown up like your parent. I get that's by. <laughs> you have a parent, it doesn't have to be an Aries, it could be a Sag or a Leo, whatever the situation is here. But there's something going on with your finding out your parent, your mom, your sibling, whatever it is, like you're finding out this element is by. Like something's by about your are you're saying by to this person, like I said, because of the Scorpio and the Cap what the Scorpio and the Capricorn energy said about them, or they're leaving, they're still around, but they should leave, or something's going on with the fact that you need money for from this parent that is by, or you didn't know that they were by, or somebody's friend is by. This could be your coworker or your whoever a sibling that's by. You find out your somebody is by. There's a shot. You find out there's a shot with the fact that this element is by. 
That's why the death card and the singular in that singular self is showing up here, period, because your mother, your fine, your mother is by. Mm, in the life energy, Queen of Wands. Wow. That's why the two of coins energy is in the future. But that likes Capricorn. So maybe this maybe somebody this energy likes a Capricorn energy, or you like the two of coins, like you actually do like a Capricorn. But you don't want to you don't want to talk to or you don't want your parent you don't want a parent to know that you're talking to a Capricorn or a Scorpio like element. But that's something to do with the fact that somebody's black somewhere <laughs> or they're of a, of a different ethnicity or a race or something's different that's going on with that. But the fact that somebody is annoyed with, with you trying to talk to somebody because of that or you don't, there's something that's psychologically wrong with that, <laughs> with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Coins energy. Just, just talk to her. So you should just talk to an earth sign or this Queen of Wands. Not them. You don't want. You don't need to talk to this person. It has something to do with the earth sign energy and some difference that you have between you and the earth sign. Dark skin, light skin, black, white, Asian, whatever it is. Whew. But you spend. But the, you you should talk to the earth sign. But you spend a lot. Uh, you spend a lot with, a, with an Aquarian that is of the same ethnicity or nationality or group ethnic group as you. But you should not. But this element. You don't want this element to not going to Capricorn. You don't want this element to know you're going to a Capricorn energy. Whatever it is. But somebody really is helped mentally. Somebody's psychologically off with the fact that someone wants you to stay under the same and deal with the same ethnic group all the time. You can't learn like that. Death card energy. Mm, well, your instincts has the king of coins. Maybe the Taurus. Maybe the Taurus talks to someone. You, you're like the Taurus talks to somebody. The Taurus talks to someone, but the shouldn't the Aquarian. The Taurus should not talk to an Aquarian. You intuitively know that. Or that's what a parent said or a sibling or a friend said to you, like that a Taurus talks to an Aquarian energy. They talk to this King of Swords energy. You know? They should stop talking to an Aquarian. And, and I keep getting an Aquarian. They should stop talking to an Aquarian energy. You're thinking that this element is talking to an Aquarian. But so why don't they talk to you? Or why don't they talk to the Capricorn or the Scorpio-like element? Why don't they talk to them? Somebody has obviously has better advice for them or you. Or you're showing up like this. Or it's a Taurus. Mm, wow. Your accomplishment has the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups energy right next to the King of Cups. There's a tearing apart. So it's you're tearing apart some type of bond that you have with the King of Swords, with the Ace of Cups. You're already with this person. That's why it's the Ace of Cups is right next to them as an accomplishment. You're already with that person. And something's going on with it, th that situation. The fact that you're already with them, it, you need to. You need it needs to be broken. <laughs> like, so that's what this element is saying. That's what this element of they don't want it to be, but they don't want that bond that you have with the King of Swords to break. You know, because she's racist. Someone's racist about this Queen of Wands. Someone's racist about them, and that's why they're moving this way with somebody with these Scorpio-like elements and Capricorn elements. They're someone's racist about them. I mean, they're trying to act like they're not racist. Mm, or the prejudice, or something. I keep, I keep every time I say, I get psychological. Something, something's wrong with them, like psychologically, and that's why they're racist and prejudiced. Something's going on with them psychologically. Mm, well, whatever the situation is here, but you want to leave and you want to go off with these death card energies, but but you're tied to a king of swords that something is similar about them to you, and, and your mom doesn't want you to talk to somebody who's black or whatever it is, or she does or she doesn't, or she doesn't care, or whatever the situation is, or you're aware a Taurus does. Taurus likes somebody, but they're afraid of them, or they don't want somebody's really held back on their parent, co-worker, or boss talking to someone that is of a different race or ethnicity than them. Whew, my God. Your um spiritual self has the five of clubs, five of wands energy right next to the death card. There's an arguing with Scorpio or arguing with Capricorn. You're arguing with these. Are they are they arguing with you? You're arguing with these elements, you know. But it's a why. Why are you arguing with these elements? <laughs> you don't understand. Maybe 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 it's fire sign energy. So either you're arguing with them, or the Queen of Wands, the only which is the only external other fire sign energy that's shown up here. They they're arguing with them. They're arguing with them. And you're outside looking into their, that they're arguing with them, whatever the situation is. It doesn't have to be race or prejudice. It could just be that jealous, the fact that they're jealous of these Scorpio and Capricorn energies. That's why they're picking fights. That's why they're picking fights with that element. Mm, wow. Well, your mentality has a King of Cups. King of Cups energy. But it should talk to, maybe you should talk to a King, King of Cups. 
But I get of the same ethnic group. So this energy is also of the same, in some way, they're of our same status or same look or body type, whatever it is. So whatever small-minded shit is going on with the fact that you're talking to this person. But something is going on with the Kim Cups. They're of the same ethnic group as you, the same skin tone as you, the same language as you, whatever the small-minded shit is. That's what a Taurus is laughing about. Mm. But the talks to black people or talks to white people, this element talks to black, white people, Asian people, they talk to everybody. <laughs> Maybe you should be like a Taurus, <laughs> vice versa. To me, somebody should be like you, but you're suckling on to this person that they're too familiar. Then you should leave this element, but they're, they're too familiar. So they're too familiar. Mm. There's a branch off. <laughs> Maybe you need to branch off with some type of person that you're hanging out with. Whatever the difference in look and life path and situations and race and ethnicity, you need to branch off away from stuff. I get date white guys. Maybe you should date white dudes. Maybe you should date white guys. Something's going on with that. Or somebody should date white dudes. But the Scorpio, I'm looking at the Scorpio and the Capricorn energy. Maybe they are dating somebody outside of their their group, some type of situation like that. And maybe that's why this element jealous. Maybe that's why this element is jealous. Or just simply, they're just talking to somebody that's different than them. Whatever that means. What's, or you're doing that. What's changing is the Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups energy with the King of Cups. Mm. Again, rest. Maybe you're resting with this person, or you need, resting usually implies taking a break from this element, you know? But parent does not want you to. So a parent does not want you to take a break from the King of Swords. Parent does, or they do or they don't. Parent does not, or a friend or a sibling, or whatever, they want you, they don't want you to take a break from the King of Cups. But your intuition is really rocking you with the death card energy or or your subconscious is really rocking you with the nine of cups and the king of cups. You don't really want to leave this energy, but you should. You should or you shouldn't. Mm. Wow. Your resolution has the world sign of Capricorn. You're dealing with the Capricorn energy and the resolution. That's why you're taking a break from the king of cups energy. I get Pisces. That's why you're taking a break from a Pisces, but you're now you're going off to a Capricorn energy. Mm-mm. But the Aries, I keep getting it. Aries doesn't want you to do that. Some fire sign female does not want you to do that because they're jealous. Because this element is jealous for whatever the situation is here. But that's why you need balance with the old Capricorn energy. You know? I mean, this is pretty straightforward in the sense where it pretty much seems that you're, you're in, this kind of looks like you're in the click. You're in the same kind of click situation in the workplace or you talk to the same people all the time and that's something that's really aggravating about that or something that's mental about that you know something that's mentally off with the fact that you deal with the same kind of people all the they're not with you it could be somebody else but it has something to do with upbringing and structure and small-minded shit whatever is going on but something that's mental about that mm. and there's a need to be like a sibling or a friend that is more diverse and brain and mind and thought and has something to do with being bi lesbian gay straight or or homosexual or, or what do you call that um uh, what was i going to say uh ethnic groups and whatever the differentiation is light skin dark skin people white guys black guys white black women whatever shit is <laughs> all right let's see what the outcome is here or advice as simple as advice get who you get advice from who you talk to all right let's see what the outcome is why you're doing it let me see the outcome is for Virgo. All right, you got two cards. You have the tower. This is tower energy, obviously, and a nine of wands. You're defending your choices. You're defending the tower with the nine of wands energy is the clearest day. You're pretty much defending some type of choice that you're making to go with the Capricorn energy. You're going with the Capricorn energy. And like I said, this energy doesn't want you to do that. For whatever reason, they don't want you to do that. The jealous, envious, racist, prejudice, that's all tied into one. Queen of wands. Okay, whatever situation is here. I get better advice. Somebody's giving you tower energies. This is got double Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, Capricorn. Mm, you got double double advice into what kind of move you should make. You got double, you, it has something to do with advice. Who you get advice from? Who you get advice from? So just talk to her. Just talk to a Scorpio. Just talk to a Queen of Wands. To talk to a Capricorn, a Scorpio in the chart. Mm. There's a leave King of Cups. <laughs> this energy that leave King of Cups. Leave King of Cups. You're defending the fact that you want to leave a King of Cups to a, to a Queen of Wands. They don't want to hear it. Mm. 
All right, let me know how it resonates, Virgo. Be well. Take care. Bye.